I, we have all met people in life who are artificial and self-centered. It shows in their face, in their actions. Oh my, we're in a generation where that grows like mushrooms. Listen carefully to what Thomas Merton says about this incredible and very true. A man who is not humble cannot accept praise with grace. He knows what he should do with it. He knows that praise is due to God and not to himself, but he gives it to God so graciously that he elevates himself and draws attention to himself by his own clumsiness. Praise upsets and trouble him who has not yet learned humility. Perhaps he even loses patience when he is praised, irritated by the feeling of his own unworthiness. And if he does not let it show, at least what has been said about him haunts him obsess his mind and torment him wherever he goes. At the other extreme is the man who has no humility whatsoever and who devours praise if he receives it like a dog that snatch a piece of meat. But he is no problem. He is so recognizable that Since Aristophan, he has played his part in all committees. The humble man receives praise like a clear pan of glass receives sunlight. The more real and intense the light, the less the window is seen. <laughs> I love what St. Augustine said. You want to be a saint? I will give you not one, but three advice, three virtues that you must cultivate in order to walk the path of holiness. First, humility. Second, humility. Third, humility. <laughs> Never forget that we need love as much as we need water. We need each other as we need the earth we share. So what's the reason for all these stupidity on the planet? Have a good day.